Much quieter evening here across South Mississippi at the moment. Currently, we're sitting at 91 degrees out at Peach Road Nissan. Not really a bad evening shaping up out there on the west side of Hattiesburg. Winds currently out of the west northwest at 13. It's currently 89 at Jones College. But look at the rainfall totals over two and a third inches of rain, and that's within the last 24 hours. Absolutely a lot of rain with all these storms coming in across South Mississippi. Still hot and humid in many areas. Currently, it's 88 in Petal. 92 out in Columbia and Foxworth, 86 in Collins, and 92 down in Lumberton. Now, speaking of showers, as you'll notice, we got some storms developing towards our south. We got a couple of storms out here in Greene County, thunderstorms out towards Leakesville, Loosedale, out towards Agricola, some more storms beginning to fire up across southern Forest County, just to the east of Purvis, right over in Poppy Johnson State Park, down towards Brooklyn and Wiggins. And you'll notice, I'm going to have to drag the map over here, but we got a new little shower beginning to pop up over the city of Columbia right now, even a little lightning bolt here. These are moving off towards the south, and again, nothing severe with these. All of the action this afternoon has been confined down towards the coast, and that's where they've been getting a lot of problems, whether it's flash flood emergencies, more tornadoes, but all of this is going to finally come to an end. The reason why this area of low pressure is going to move westward. It's been moving westward over the last day or so, but it's going to continue to move towards the west and towards the southwest. And what this is going to do is wrap in some drier air from the north. You can already see that northerly component air coming in from St. Louis, moving its way down towards the south. So we're going to wrap in some of that drier air. It's going to turn off the severe pattern. So we're going to see that finally break. It'll lower our rain chances. It won't make them go away completely, but at least they'll be much lower. And this is really going to be the break that we have so desperately needed after seeing multiple rounds per day for almost a whole week of severe weather. This is our saving grace. All right, so here's what we're looking at tomorrow. Partly to mostly uh, clear skies during the start of your day. Temperatures into the low 70s. During the afternoon, temperatures warm up, low 90s. We still got a 40% chance of rain, but most of the rain chances tomorrow, basically along and south of Highway 98. So most of this is going to be south and west of Hattie's. Temperatures will make it up into the low 90s. We'll quiet down in the evening. Rain chances will steadily go down from a 40% chance to a 30% chance later on into the week. And rain chances are going to become more hit or miss with all the rain beginning to focus over Alabama and Georgia by the middle part of the week. This is where that area of low pressure is going to be and on the back side of it, that dry air. So this is why we're seeing lower rain chances in our neck of the woods and it's also why our severe threat is beginning to back down. This is a much more typical pattern for this time of the year. And I'm going to tell you, I, I need a break from all the severe weather. And I think everybody at home does too, especially our folks over in uh, Marion County and Jasper County. And for everybody who was impacted by these straight line winds, uh, multiple events last week, we need a break. We're finally going to get it. Next week, still hot. Temperatures into the low 90s and rain chances go down even further as we go into next week.